Well, hello and welcome to Jimodism Total Notary channel. Today we will do a little quick tutorial on how to have different filters on the same game capture device. So um, I have this cinema and we also have the game. Here you see me. Hello folks. This is my normal setup. And uh, then I also wanted to have this cinema mood to try out the new little thing that I can quickly change to with just commands like this. And of course you see they do have different filters, uh, which is nice, but uh, it wasn't very easy to actually make them. They wanted to have the same kind of settings. If I change the contrast on one window, I change it on all the game capture, with, which uh, wasn't really the effect I was looking for. Fortunately, there is a fix for how to do this, so I'll just uh, go through how to do that. Fortunately, it's very easy. And uh, what you basically do is that when you have your game capture, I right click on it and you click, of course, uh, filters. So if you want to add filters, you just click, right click on it and select filters. And here you go. And uh, here on the plus menu, you have all the different stuff you may want. Uh, the normal stuff you probably want to add on is color correction. And here I have 20% or 20 zero, yeah, 0 0.20 uh, of contrast to get rid of that little uh, kind of too much, uh, too, too little contrast that easily gets when you process videos and just stream them. So I just had to try to, you know, remove that, so mitigate that. So I have that as a default on the game capture. Now this is directly on the game capture, which means it uh, will be across any of the windows. It This will be like the default. Um, so this is kind of the main. If I would like to put on some special thing for only this scene, I need to have the game capture in a group. And if we switch to cinema, I haven't, of course, if I go to filters, I have the same settings on the filter here. Um, so if I want to add filters to just this group, I go, I just add everything that I want on this. I add in a group and on the group, I right click just like that and we click filters. Here we have a new section and here we can see these effects can add on. So I have an additional of 0 0.30 of contrast and I wanted to have 0 0.5. So I thought this would be, you know, plus basically. It's basically adds it on, so it should work fine. We also have a bit of saturation and up here we have apply LUT. And this is uh, an interesting little thing um, you can basically change the color value. So I choose, I chose this, uh, this, uh, teal lows, orange highs thing. That's basically kind of cinematic and stuff. And uh, that basically has it. Uh, and of course I can have infinite different variants. If I just have them in groups, I can put on filters onto the group. And of course my cinematic lens effect um, and the uh, whoops and the black bars doesn't really affect be they're not very affected by like the different you know color settings and stuff so yeah well now you know how to have different types of filters for the same game capture or camera and well if this video helped you, leave a like and you should definitely check out my Twitch sometime. So come by, check down in the description to my little Twitch channel and see, I'll see you there. We might move on to DLive in the future, so you can search me up if you want me to. Currently we're, we have some music there, I believe. In any case, see you around. Jimodesm Total Notary Channel, signing out.